It is a pleasure to be here uh, tonight to, uh, to introduce <laughs> Molly is actually kissing my wife Patty over there. A first for both of them. Well, there you go. The two children, Matthew and Lauren, were raised in the public eye. He's fantastic, as well as being the top of his profession and absolute inspiration. He's a great mate. I've always been really proud of Dad, and I just hope he has a wonderful night. Not as much as I'm proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> Family bonds were tested by Matthew's court appearances and battles with drug abuse. Bert was also tested by numerous health scares, one resulting in a quadruple bypass, followed by several bouts of pneumonia. At least they could joke about it, and Patty received an honour for, amongst other things, fundraising for medical research. I've needed to know a little bit about medical research with Bert. But another shock setback loomed. It started with just a toe infection in Christmas 2020. <coughs> Months later, it had worsened. Doctors telling the diabetic he had a decision to make, his leg or his life. It was needed and he had a choice and his choice was to, um, to live, really. He bought the 82-year-old life's most valuable commodity, time. We've all been sort of gathered around him a lot and it's mainly for the grandchildren because he wants to watch them grow. It would be wrong to label Bert as a TV survivor in his long career. He thrived on TV, in radio, and his later years in theatre. Bert was a one-man history of Australian entertainment. You're going to mention him about a pedophile, can He's made up of moments. He's a pedophile. Love boys. You're a fucking pedophile. Rotten hell, you can't. <laughs>